Boy arrested with a loaded gun today at Woodward High School was just 16 years old. Local 12 Sydney Venter has more on the trouble that teen now faces and information on a second student police want to find. Sydney. Rob Cincinnati police arrested a sophomore at the school this afternoon. Records show he had a loaded 38 caliber handgun in his book bag. He also had more than seven grams of marijuana in his possession. But police are still looking for another student who ran away from school all as this was happening. A heavy police presence outside while a dramatic scene played out inside Woodward High School. Acting on a tip that there was a gun in the cafeteria, the school went on lockdown. Police and the uh, teachers acted very quickly and uh, put the student uh, body inside individual rooms with the teacher assigned to each room and on lockdown. It was uh, picture perfect on how these things are supposed to go. During this time, a couple officers approached a student to question him about the gun, but he bolted and left school property. Officers did find a gun in a backpack, but they've arrested another student for having it, not the student who ran from officers. It's very scary to know that that's at a school and it's a school right next door to us. Sean Abernathy graduated from Woodward and works at a shop across the street. He's concerned about young people in that area. That's why he and his family are starting an after-school program for kids in the neighborhood. And I'm trying to help kids redirect some of the negative energy that they have going on. Abernathy says they've got the space. They're just hoping for some grant money to get the program off the ground. He wants to show young people at Woodward High School there's another way. These kids, I'm trying to help even more. Like, that's my real goal because um, we have to remember our kids is our future. This is what we build our future around is our kids. And Abernathy says he intends to apply for grants to get computers for students to use. He hopes to connect with young people through music and says there will be a music studio in that space. So what about metal detectors? They, they have to be, I know they're used in the school sometimes. Yeah, least, and, the, right? and the school district has metal detectors. They obviously weren't at Woodward High School today. They said that they, they're on a rotating basis, so they kind of go from school to school. And, of course, they don't let students know when they're going to be at those schools. Yeah, so but it wasn't there today. They were help. not obviously there today, no. All right, Sydney, thanks very much. Police say uh, they got a pretty good look of the student who ran away from school this afternoon on surveillance video. No word yet tonight, though, on an arrest.